Right, so the OLED iPad saga continues, and today we have a report regarding two stack structure OLED displays coming to the iPad Pro in the future. And so let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So at first we had a ton of reports regarding OLED coming to the iPad Air 5. Since of course iPad Pros had mini LED which I was assuming was better than OLED and so giving the iPad Air OLED made a ton of sense because it was going to be a rigid form of the tech that was better than LCD but a lot worse than the mini LED panels we had on the iPads. But then out of nowhere we had reports regarding OLED being cancelled for the iPad Air 5 and instead Apple's now working on a two-stack structure OLED display for the iPad Pros. And that brings us to today because the elect says Apple is currently talking with LG Display and Samsung to make these two-stack structure OLED displays which are apparently superior to the mini LED tech we see on the iPad Pros today. Now for those of you keeping up with these stories, you might remember we had a report regarding Samsung refusing to make these two stack structure displays. And so it's interesting and also confusing that Samsung allegedly is now talking with Apple to make these displays after allegedly refusing to make them a few weeks ago. But anyways, in case you're wondering what this two stack structure tech is, it's two layers of red, green and blue emission layers that allows these OLED panels to be much brighter and also more durable. Because those are the biggest issues with OLED. They don't get very bright and they're not very durable due to burning, but of course, this could fix all the issues we have right now with OLED. Another benefit with the OLED tech is LTPO, which of course allows the display to variably refresh between 10Hz and 120Hz. And yes, I know the iPad Pro today has ProMotion, but do remember that display only goes down to 24Hz. The iPhones with the OLED and LTPO tech go all the way down to 10Hz, which of course makes the displays slightly more efficient. And so yes, if we do see OLED on the iPads, this LTPO tech should come over to the pros. Now some of you guys may be wondering whether we'll see this on the 12.9 inch model first and then it comes down to the 11 inch. While the report states that won't be the case, we should see it on the 11 inch and 12.9 inch models at the same time. But do know that OLEDs in general are very expensive and so I could see a price hike with the iPad Pros because of these new OLED panels. Now as for the release, this has also been something that's been debated for a while. We had reports regarding a 2022 release for the OLED iPads, but now this report states it's going to be 2023 or 2024, so this won't be happening anytime soon. And I guess that does make sense because Apple did give us mini LED, they invested a ton of money into these panels. For example, the 16 inch MacBook Pro's display is 5.1 times the cost of a traditional LCD. So this is very expensive for Apple to make. And so ideally to get a return on the investment, they should use this tech for a few more years. In fact, I would not be surprised if we do see mini LED come over to the rest of the iPad lineup and OLED stays as the Pro exclusive. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding iPhone SE 3. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.